My name is Henrik Topolnicki. <laughs> My name is Kayo Yokoyama. Uh, the title is the Kitsunebi. It's a fire, fox fire. So the Kitsunebi is mean Firefox. The Firefox happens in Japan very um, suddenly in uh, nature. So when you're walking around and then you suddenly see thousands of the uh, lights just over there or over there, and then you go chasing and it's all gone. And you go look at them and I go, oh, there's another one. So it's kind of um, a happen when, when it, they say that when it's dry and it's not really real fire, but it, I don't know, it's something to do mysterious about the fire. And I love fire because I'm a glass maker and he loves fire because mm. he's a metal maker. The Japanese saying with that fire is to look after yourself and you look after your nature. You can't exist without the nature. So it's kind of a warning sign as well, I think. Maybe as a, I don't know, I don't have a goal to believe, but maybe in the nature, some kind of those natural power or something is really telling us to, well, you know, you have to go with nature and you can be solo. I come in as a, you know, blacksmith, metal worker, and I've got beautiful, beautiful workshops in, in the Blue Mountains uh, with pretty substantial equipment and basically can pull off anything. But we sort of really relaxed uh, regarding sticking closely to the concept. Uh, things just happened, you know, like I, I, I stuck welded rods into my rolling mill and uh, started rolling it and suddenly this organic, beautiful shape emerged and you just chase it further and further. Well, I'm a glass maker, so usually it's stuck in the inside because it's, the glass is always fragile and they want to always put the uh, cover over it. And in some way it's not like windy, in some way it's corner mm. and it's tucked away and, and I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> and I like to go outside and then put it out and I had to, you know, decoration from so many times that I don't hold you in responsibility when it's broken. And that's my way of saying, well, you know, to me, it's, you have to be able to touch. Over the years, people, locals, got to know what I do, what I can do. Mm. And people bring the, the junk to my place and say, well, yeah, so I we hope went. you can do something creative. <laughs> yeah, we it? did it anyway. So we went to the end of the corner and, oh, let's do use this one. Let's use this one. Mm. And let's wear this one together, wasn't it? It yeah. was quite. So that way, like, uh, I have a huge um, idea. But like, I want to do this. I want to do that. And then uh, when I go to the Henrix um, studio, I can see lots of things in there. And I'm like, okay, well, let's put this together. Let's put it together. So that's like... Um, but it was amazingly easy. Like, yeah, I know. So that's like me is a community too. People come in this and come in that and they get together and do things together. Like this is so many people from different places and we got all together and then do something together. And then that's a community creating a new thing.